A security guard came and chased me off right after I got started. Said that I was trespassing on private property, so. Well, I was set up right over there, but a security guard came and chased me off. Probably would have ended up in jail had it not been for Emma. He acknowledged that the dog was cute, so he let it slide this one time. So we're gonna reset up here. Hopefully this isn't private property. The Florence Mill was built by Brigham Young in 1846 at the Mormons' Winter Quarters on their way through Nebraska to seek religious freedom. And it's the only remaining structure from that period that the Mormons built. The mill served to grind wheat and corn products for the settlers at the time. After the Mormons moved on, the city of Florence was built on the vacant winter quarters, and the mill resumed operation in 1856. Changing owners a few times, the mill eventually switched from water-based operations to steam in the 1880s and then electricity, running as a functioning mill all the way until the 1960s. The Weber family owned and operated the mill for three generations, running what would be the longest running business operation in Nebraska's history, running continuously for over 104 years. Today, the mill serves as a farmer's market, art gallery, and museum. Sometimes I wonder if in the heyday, if people like Monet or Van Gogh got hassled and people asked uh, if they were up to no good. Um, I still maintain that I probably could have been graffitiing or doing some other illegal activity, and I can almost guarantee you I would have been totally left alone. But because I was doing a delicate watercolor sketch in my sketchbook of a historical grist mill, just that's beyond the pale. That's what calls law enforcement to descend. So anyways, I will not be uh, deterred from doing this series and uh, it was still a really pleasant sketch. Um, I think the added pressure helped me work faster and I really liked how this sketch turned out. Um, I experimented with lifting out some of the paint uh, for these telephone poles and I really liked that effect as I noticed that when you look at the phone pole, it's darker closer up to the sky but lighter against the building. And so I really liked that. I also liked using the Charlie pen with the diluted Lexington gray ink. I've been really enjoying that lately to come in with those subtle ink touches and just shoring up some lines. And I really enjoyed how this sketch turned out. This was about 25 minutes of work, but I really liked how it came out. This is episode one in a series I'm doing, planner sketching through the historic landmarks of my town, telling the story of Omaha. Click here to watch the next episode and here to watch the whole series. Like this video and share with anyone who might enjoy it. And remember, you have a voice that matters. Go be creative. I'll see you next time.